This is Duke University. Difference or making a difference is actually not, you're making the difference, but we don't define the content of that difference. Is it imagined or is it real? Or is it good? Because difference is accepted as is self-evident as a good thing, but no, it's not. Uh, my name is Nguyen Tong. I'm uh, a junior here at Duke, studying literature and philosophy. I'm from South Sudan. As any South Sudanese, uh, the last several decades of civil war have defined who I am, and in fact have shaped my trajectory. Uh, the war uh, forced my family to flee uh, the country as refugees, and ultimately I was fortunate to find an opportunity to come here. As a refugee, as someone who was born in war, borders have different forms. Uh, borders have different contours and uh, borders as, as places off limit, borders as places of protection. In what, in an aspirational sense, in borders as what is the limit of what you can aspire for or what you can achieve and what that means, the resources you have, the connections you have, uh, the skills you have, borders as as love, whom can you and can you not love? Whom is your heart able to contain? So borders, if anything, borders define uh, our interactions. It defines everything that we do. So borders come in all kinds of forms. And they come in as laws, they come as expectations, they come as disappointments, they come as temperaments, they come as places, they come as people, and that's exactly what life is, it's borders. We are, we live in constantly widening rings of borders. Let's look at it from a different perspective. Uh, people in the West, generally, have an understanding of what Africa is, what African problems are, and how they should be solved. Uh, there's a difference that we, co we conceive. We see them as different. We see their issues as different. And we define or prescribe solutions for these problems based on that difference, based on that border. Difference is a border. To me, I want to blur that. I want to complicate a little bit. The difference needs to be deconstructed. And I, I want to, to take away that difference, that border of the African and the American. The African, the victim, the American, the savior. I want to break that and put them together as equal to negotiate what can be done, what is the problem. And that's what I'm trying to do with South Sudan. We have to negotiate, for instance, the project's goal and the community's goal in relation to what resources we have. So that's a border. Uh, for example, I, am, I come from the United States with my resources and tell people that we need, we, we, this is how we're going to build the school. There's a line there that has to be negotiated, right? That this is their, their community, these are their kids. How do you negotiate these borders? So there's constant negotiation, constant confrontation, right? So borders here also define the relationships that I have with the community, that the community has with the goal of the school, with the students. And they make possible what we can do. For South Sudan, I'm a bridge between my, peop my team here, my board, that is raising the money, and the people in the community that are building the school. My hope is to mediate, in a sense, to break that border, to make it possible for the two sides to communicate and work as one. And that is something that has not been done well. Right? It has, the border has been accepted because, in a sense, this border, this difference, makes it possible for someone here to actually think of, of doing something. So you have to, in, in a sense, have to invent poverty for you to start a foundation or organization to address it. So you have to problem, problematize the border to solve it. So that's one of the critiques. So South Sudan is distinguished from other organizations by this auto-criticism, this introspection. We are always introspective. We critique our methods, the extent to which we are actually critiquing the border itself, the difference. You can both make these mistakes, right? Imagine or invent problems that are not rooted in realities but also how you can actually open up 
and actually acknowledge that and be open to change, to modification of your method, of your vision, and all of these things. Good intentions sometimes mystify issues, right? They, they cloud them, they obscure them, because it's good and you can't question good intentions. And that is something that we need to tackle itself. So we need to question a little bit. What do we when we say we're going to make a difference? Even when we say we're going to uh, build peace, peace here is a space, but what is in that? Space? What's the content of that peace, right? What are the, you know, the nitty gritty things that go into it? The context, the background, the, the different forces, the, di the, di the, ni the dynamics, all the factors, you know? We have to think about that. And that's what I try to do with South Sudan. I'm part of the problem also, but I'll try to be part of the solution because in a sense, as a director of a foundation, a part of the humanitarian apparatus, right? I am part of that problem or that, pr that force that problematizes things. But also I want to be a little critical and see how we can view things differently. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.